I want to challenge you to experiment with fasting mimic diets and fasting. And I do cover both of those things in chapter one of my book. Why should you consider fasting? I want to give you seven benefits of fasting. Number one, it decreases insulin. Well, what is insulin? It is the fat storage hormone. If you want to lose weight, fasting is the quickest way to knock that down. Number two, it decreases cellular proliferation. And you know what that means? It decreases cancer cells, cells that are spreading abnormally. It promotes mitochondrial production. As you remember from chapter four of my book, the mitochondria are what produce 95% of your energy. You want more of them? Fasting will help that. It boosts your immune system. What's the old saying? Feed a cold and starve a fever. What's Dr. Pat saying? Starve a cold and starve a fever. You want to boost your immune system fast. Improves gut microbiome, and this is a huge one. It makes a good bacteria multiply. It decreases inflammation. And the last one, it resets your metabolism higher. So what do I mean? And do I have studies to show that? So here's a person who fasted for four days. Look what happens to their weight. Nice weight loss. Fasting is the fastest way to lose weight there is. But look what happened to their metabolism, their resting energy expenditure. It grew over four days. You got a slow metabolism, fasting will ramp that up. And also their lung capacity, their VO2 max in, improved with fasting. So I want to have a few people just come up here and talk about fasting because we promote that in our class and on the course. First of all, a 17 hour fast. So we've got uh, someone who's begun the program. She's a couple months into it. And you're down how many pounds now? 25. 25 pounds, so good weight loss. And what was your experience like trying the 17 hour fast, which just means skip breakfast? Yeah, it's really not that hard. I do it every day. You just get in the habit of doing it. Um, I take my shower in the morning and then I just like do housework, stuff like that to keep busy until lunchtime. And now I'm just used to it. I don't even think about eating before lunch. So restricting the time that you eat in a day can be a powerful tool. Thank you. So that's the first method we, we teach. The second is the 23 hour fast. And this goes a little farther. So you skip your breakfast, you skip your noon meal, you eat once a day. Now you can't do this every day, but you can do this a couple times a week and it would be great. And we've got someone who has done the 23 hour fast and done it a number of times. And how much weight have you lost? Uh, 115. 115 pounds. And you've done all of the fasting techniques, right. but tell me what the 23 hour was like for you. That's easy as long as you make sure you stay busy. So uh, the main thing is, is eat at night and then go to bed and then not worry about it until the next uh, time for dinner. So that, you know, if you go to work or something like that, time flies so fast you won't even know that it's there. So it's, it's, it, that one's the easiest one. All right, so that's a good point. If you're gonna be off on the weekend, that's probably not the best time to do this. And if you're gonna be around food, that's probably not the best time. Good job. Now you can have water, you can have coffee, you can have tea, no calorie things. And the 5-2 plan is the third method that we teach in the book. And on this method, two non-consecutive days per week, you restrict calories to 500 for women and uh, 600 for men. And how many pounds are you down now? Uh, 62. 62. And tell us what the 5-2 plan is like for you. Um, it's just an easy way um, to kind of reset my metabolism. It boosts me. I feel great when I do it. Um, it's pretty easy. I limit when they eat those 500 calories to just a few hours in the day. Yeah, so you're kind of combining the 23 and the 5-2, and I really like that. In fact, I, I should come up with a name for that because I've never seen anyone have a but combination of that. what I do is I just do a 23-hour fast twice a week, and then I keep my meal, the one meal I have that day, to less than 500 calories. Yeah, perfect plan. Thank you. And the last thing that I want to talk about is prolonged fasting. And this is two days or more, water only. So we've got someone here who has done this. And before going through the Seven Systems, come on over here, Seven Systems plan, you had not fasted before? No. Okay, and you, you 
tried and did a how many day fast? Three. I did like a one day and then I thought, well, maybe I can try two days. And then I did do three days, but I thought no more. <laughs> the three days was enough. And when you get down to your body weight, yeah, that's, that's probably good to do that, uh, that short one. And how difficult was that for you? Uh, it really wasn't. And again, if you're busy and if I thought I was hungry, it was, you know, drink some water. And the only problem I ran into was the vitamins. I took my vitamins the first day as normal, just out of habit. But the second day, I kind of got an upset stomach from it. So then I talked to Kathy, and she says, now you probably shouldn't take your vitamins. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, if you're going to do a, a water-only fast, it should be water-only. Now, it can be some tea. In fact, there's some studies show that tea may in increase the benefits. And I allow coffee, too, but no calories. Green tea would be better. Green tea would be perfect. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be wonderful. Thank you. So when not to do a prolonged fast, if you're on lots of medications, you should not. Uh, diabetic, if you're on insulin, you probably should not. Poor health, low body weight. If you got any concerns, see your doctor before you do the prolonged fast. The fasting mimic diets, the restricting the time in a day, almost everyone can do that even with medication. And be sure to check out our YouTube channel or if you're in the area, see us at Tri-State Physicians and Physical Therapy.